on that day, what, what probably the crisis meeting was, there were, there, there were no, the, the central sterilization, sterilization department was not working, the central sterilization department was not working, and therefore there were no packs to, for mothers to deliver, no delivery packs. They were used, and did they were exhausted. Nurses were, were started using uh, surgical blades to cut the cord and using the cord clamps, which is risky to the nurses of this country or to the, this, uh, this hospital. And uh, due to that, there was a memo which was written by the medical superintendent instructing the central, central sterilization department to operate only for 12 hours without knowing the backlog of the, or the workload of Kumwani. And doing this, she did that without consulting the relevant team players, the relevant departments. So it caused the, the, the shortage of packs that led to the crisis. That's why there was a crisis meeting on that day, on Monday morning. Yeah, there, there was another issue we raised during the meeting. We, during that <coughs> meeting, we complained a lot about our consultants. It's not that I'm trying to fix anybody, but the problem we have is a problem. Our consultants, our consultants are supposed to run the second theater because the first theater is overwhelmed. That's why without the second theater running, there's a backlog of Sicilian sections in the labor ward and thus taking, causing backlog of mothers in the labor ward, taking a lot of, a lot of days, even two weeks. We've confirmed two weeks, mothers in the labor ward for two weeks waiting for emergency years. To substantiate my, to substantiate, to substantiate my claim, as, 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 from fort, or as from fourth this month to 19th, uh, to nine, to, to from 14 today up to today, there have been 176 CS cases, of, of which 30, 83 of them, sorry, 83 of them were uh, elective CS. Those are not emergency. Elective CS are cold cases, which are supposed to be done by the consultants. And between, those, the, the, between the period of 4th September up to today this morning at 6 a.m., our consultants have only done five cases. One case on, seven, on 7th September 2018, three cases on, 9th, on, 10th, and, uh, on 10th September 2018, and, uh, and one case on 14th uh, September 2018. This is, the, this is what we are, we are trying to solve the problem. We need assistance, we need our consultants to take responsibility to aid our hospital raise from the ashes to be the giant we are supposed to be in the health care or the maternal child health care. <coughs> in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to state to Kenyans that categorically that in Pumwani, we are committed to commit to a good work. As, 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 the, as, as the, the public always throws stones at us, saying that Pumwani, you sell, we sell babies, you swap babies, we don't do that. Because every delivery in this, in this hospital is documented. And there is evidence of the file and the registers that back up the, uh, back up the, 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 the deliveries. Everything is documented. Regarding the issues of mothers losing their babies, it's unfortunate nobody celebrates the loss of a life. Nobody celebrates the loss of a life. But in case of a loss of a life in, in, in Pumwani, mothers are cancelled. Mothers are counseled on that. It's not, an easy, it's not an, easy, an, an easy work, but we do that. And before any disposal of the body is done, the file is signed by the mother and the next of kin, so that the body can be disposed by the hospital to Ruth City Mochari.
Another conclusion is babies, live babies are never separated from the mothers whatsoever. The only circumstance whereby the babies are separated from their mothers is when we are doing a resuscitation. A resuscitation is a life-saving procedure. So that's the only time we separate a mother with a baby. And the second scenario whereby we, we, we separate the mother from the baby is when the baby is sick or the baby is not breathing very well and the baby needs to go to the newborn unit for treatment and other management. And before leaving the labor ward, the baby, the mom, the mother must sign to consent. It's evidence. If you scrutinize our files, the mothers always sign to allow their babies go to the newborn unit. We don't take mothers, <coughs> babies from the mothers. And children are always labeled, and they are, they are always consented to go to the NBU or to go or, or to get to to be taken to the to the city mochari in case gamma there's a death, a death occurs. And in uh, in the summary, I do a, I do call upon his exodus the governor of Nairobi County, Mike Mbuvisongo, to come and sanitize Pumwani. There is a problem. We must accept there's a problem. Pumwani has been has been this way over the years. We want to change Pumwani. <coughs> and to change Pumwani, we need everyone on board, the Kenyan public, the workers of Pumwani. We cannot do it alone. His Excellency, the governor, take the right steps. Let's make Pumwani the giant it's meant to be. And so that we can achieve the universal health care in our Nairobi County. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The second theater is supposed to, to be a backup to the first theater, which is always overwhelming. And the second theater was initiated, it was initiated by the outgoing medical superintendent so that it can relieve pressure from the first, the first theater. But unfortunately, our consultants, our consultants... Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> We have actually given uh, you a brief about what actually inspired mm. the impromptu. Let him yeah. respond to my question. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. We, we want our consultants to participate fully. To, uh, to participate fully and uh, relieve, relieve the pressure on the second theater. That's what we are calling upon. There's nothing here. Uh, there's nothing. We want the consultant to alleviate the, the pressure from the, sec from the first theater. Okay. Na mtazamaji kama unavuona ni wasimamizi hospitali ya kujifungua kina mama ya pumwani hapa jijini Nairobi e, wakiongozwa na Alvin na Missy ambaye ni mmoja wa uguzi katika hospitali hiyo na wakitoa sauti yao kuhusiana na kisa cha siku mbili zilizopita ambapo maiti moja zipatikana zimewekwa katika hali ambayo haikustahili katika chumba kimoja baada ya kukosa chumba kizuri cha kuhifadhia na mashini za kuweza kuhifadhia maiti ni usimamizi tu ukitoa utetezi wao kuhusiana na swala hilo kumbuka ni swala ambalo limeibua masuala mengi na kupelekea hata waziri ama kaimu waziri wa afya katika kaunti hii ya Nairobi Veska Kagongo pamoja na maafisa wengine eh, kuweza kusimamishwa kazi kwa muda na gavana Mike Mbuvi Sonko na kuwapa maafisa wengine nafasi kusimamia um, um, wizara 